Hey, it's Pete, North Las Vegas. Hey, I'm out here today to uh, sight in one of my newer rifles. I've talked about it in a uh, kind of a quick review before, made a made a video. But today we're out here and we're going to get this thing sighted in for 100 yards. I was out here last weekend and I brought two rifles and one of them was a PSA dissipator carbine. And the wind picked up, it got really windy, so it got to a point where I wasn't able to, to do what I wanted with this. Anyway, uh, VG6 Epsilon, uh, get those from Aero Precision. It has three functions. It's a brake compensator and a flash hider, and supposed to do all, all three pretty well. This is a Criterion uh, heavy barrel. It's a one and eight twist, and has a wild chambering. Um, this is an Aero Precision handguard, and I'm running an Aero Precision upper, and an Aero Precision lower with a Wilson Combat uh, single stage trigger. And here's the scope I'm going to be using today. It's a Citron 6x24 and it's a first focal plane. So you guys that aren't familiar with the difference between first focal plane and second focal plane, um, the, the quick version is as you go up and down in magnification on a first focal plane, your uh, crosshair subtensions and holdovers also increase in size and one of the benefits of first focal plane is the hash marks the holdovers your, your reticle stays accurate uh, through low power and high power settings whereas the second focal plane most of the holdovers the bullet drop compensation or whatever you got going on with your reticle is usually only accurate at the upper magnification or full magnification so i'm kind of uh I'm kind of starting to like the, the first focal plane over the second focal plane in, in most instances. There's some advantages to second focal plane versus first also. But overall for the type of uh, shooting I do, um, first focal plane works best for me, especially at distance. Um, today we're starting out at 25 yards and then I got one marked at 75 yards and then we'll get out to 100. And, uh, I did a little bit of shooting with this thing last weekend, and it, it's a tack driver. I mean, I was really shooting some tight groups, but like I was saying earlier, um, it was just, it was too windy. All right, that should have got rid of the, the jitters. <laughs> Go see what we did here. I was moving around a little bit, so I don't know how tight it's gonna be. I'm not the best shooter. Usually my rifles are way better than I can shoot. Okay, so that's all five of my shots. That's 25 yards. So it's all almost, almost one hole. So, uh, We'll get this thing moved out to uh, 75 and then 100. It's shooting about inch, not quite an inch low. So we may have to make some adjustments once we get out to 100. But um, 
I really like the rifle. The, uh, the Wilson trigger, it's, I think it's about three and a half, four pound pull. Like I said, it's single stage. Um, I've messed around with some two stage and I don't know if I'm a fan of two stage or not for, for the type of shooting I do, but. Okay, so besides getting the rifle sighted in, um, the other thing I wanted to do today was uh, try out this, uh, this magazine. Um, company called the Men 2. Uh, they've been making these for quite a few years, but I decided to give them a try. They're out of Idaho, all U.S. made. I saw some uh, videos on YouTube, and uh, they were running them over with their trucks, and they seem to they seem to hold up okay. Anyway, we'll find out. This will be my first time trying these. <clears throat> Anyway, this is the, uh, the ammunition I'm using right now. It's nothing special. Just a civilian version of 193, 55 grain PMC. I'm using a Lancer mag right now, but besides the uh, amend that I'm going to try out here pretty soon, I also brought out the 20-round uh, mag pull. All right, so there's a guy off to the left of me. And just every time he fires, I, I hear a ricochet. And uh, that tells me he's shooting steel core. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but that's him over there. Anyway, I just want to say that um, steel core for target practice out in the desert is probably not the best idea. They have a tendency to, to ricochet quite a bit more anyway. Whatever. Okay, I just took uh, eight shots at 100 yards, and the last three, uh, I made my final scope adjustments. And looking through the scope, um, I think those last three shots were pretty good. So anyway, we'll go down to this target at 100 yards, and we'll just see how I did. I'm really happy right now. This rifle is an absolute tack driver. That's 100 yards. Those are my last three shots. These were me making scope adjustments. And that was my last adjustment after this, this shot. So this rifle is a confirmed tack driver. Very happy with it. Once again, Criterion Barrel. I know I'm kind of repeating myself, but like I said, when I was out there at the target at 100 yards, I am really happy with that. And it's not just the rifle, it's not just the barrel. Um, the scope did, it, did its job too. And uh, I don't remember if I mentioned earlier in the video, but this particular model uses the uh, two MOA reticle. Anyway, I'm just gonna pop off some shots and with this magazine, see how it works. And then that's, that's going to be it for today. Later, Pete, North Las Vegas.